So in the last video, we talked about the rule of contradiction, and in this video, we're going to continue to into more detail with, with regards to that idea. So contradiction tries to establish the validity of an argument, much like all the other rules of inference that we have talked about in the past couple of videos. So here are the proof by contradiction steps. What we are trying to do is we're going to assume that a certain statement uh, or a certain conclusion is false given a certain set of premises. Now, we're going to prove this new statement. And by proving this statement, we find that it's uh, illogical. So we find that ultimately the original statement given is actually true. So. Those are kind of the steps. So assume, here's a proof by contradiction steps. The first step is assume that what we are trying to prove is actually false. The second step is then we use this additional premise to produce a contradiction for some statement S. So proving this new statement, it will ultimately lead to some illogical reasoning or an impossible conclusion. And thus, in the third step, we find that the original statement given was actually true. So uh, that's kind of uh, up in the air. So we're just trying to ground it down by using a lot of symbols. So in general, what we want to establish, or when we want to establish the validity of the argument, this is what we usually do. And let me just change the number or change the coloring. Change the coloring and it will allow me to change colors. So here's what we generally want to establish. P1 and P2 and all the way to Pn. So this implies Q. So this is generally what we want to establish. We generally want to establish that P1 and P2 all the way to Pn. This, all these premises uh, imply Q. So we can establish this argument. We can establish the validity of this argument in another way. And this is the new way. P1, P2, and all the way to Pn, and negated Q implies FO. So what we, what we did here is, um, like I said, we are trying to prove by contradiction. So we made up an assumed premise. So this is this negated Q is our assumed premise. And this was what we were trying to prove. We were trying to prove that all these P's together imply Q. So we made this Q false. We made this, uh, we're trying to prove that this is a false statement. So we pretty much negated Q and we put it on this left side, so we do P1 and P2 and Pn all the way to N and Q. And we're trying to prove that this is actually uh, a false statement. That's where the implies false comes from. So when we're trying to go ahead, when we go ahead and try to prove this statement, generally what happens is we'll come up with some illogical reasoning or some uh, uh, impossible consequence that doesn't make much sense and when that happens we generally find that the original statement given was true and that is how we do proof by contradiction we'll go through a more detailed example in, uh, in the near future probably in the next video but that's generally the steps for contradiction so what I want to do now is I want to show you that these are the rules of inference that we have gone through and there are a couple more that I haven't gone through and I won't go through but you should know them because yeah you really need to know these rules of inference like you do know your laws of logic because they will really help or they make up a whole chunk of what you're going to learn in any introductory discrete mathematics so you can see we have a modus ponens, syllogism, modus tonens, conjunction, disjunctive syllogism which we all went through, contradiction, conjunctive simplification um, disjunctive amplification, conditional proof, and proof cases. These four, 7 to 10, is what we did go through. And also, we didn't go through 11 and 12, and we won't go through them. Uh, and, I, and I won't go through them, but they're pretty much similar to what we've been doing. So I'm pretty sure you could figure it out on your own. 
Other than that, please, uh, please, please, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. And I'll see you guys in the next video for an example on the on the contradiction uh, or proof by contradiction that we have been talking about in this video.